Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Back in our homeschooling days, I came to see a pattern with my daughter's work. Each year, I came to expect it. In certain subjects, she'd start out with a bang, doing several assignments a day and enjoying and taking pride in her work. But after a few weeks, I'd check and somehow she'd be behind. Other subjects, I'd see what we would have trouble from the beginning. She'd be disciplined in doing them every day, but she would absolutely hate it and complain the whole time. I'd often wonder why she couldn't delight in the whole process of learning like I did. Then I read Jerry Bridges' book, The Practice of Godliness, about this very concept in our spiritual lives. In effect, he says, desire minus discipline equals disappointment, and discipline minus desire equals drudgery. To that, I would add desire plus discipline equals delight. I don't want my walk with God to be a disappointment or a drudgery. I want it to be a delight. 1 Timothy 4, 7 and 8 tells us, Exercise yourself toward godliness. For bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Exercise is not my thing, though I do walk about an hour a day, and that's good. Intellectual pursuits are good, too, keeping your mind sharp and healthy. But the most important part of you is your soul and spirit. So how do you make keeping your soul healthy a delight in your life instead of a disappointment or drudgery? After all, Psalm 1 tells us that we will be blessed when we delight in God's word and meditate on it day and night. Psalm 37, 4 says, When we delight ourselves in the Lord, He will give us the desires of our heart. Our delight should be in knowing God, approaching His throne with confidence, spending time resting in His love and grace. If that's our desire, yet we have no discipline to get us to that point, we will be disappointed. And if we force ourselves to be disciplined in spending time in God's Word, but we don't have that desire, it will be drudgery. So how can we have both desire and discipline in order to delight in the abundance God has for us? When I first started trying to walk every day for my health, I quickly realized I had to pair it with something I enjoyed, or it would become something I just put off or dread every day. So I started listening to one of my favorite preachers who preached for about 45 minutes. Then I would have a few minutes at the end to listen to some uplifting music too, I've enjoyed and looked forward to my walks ever since. So if you don't look forward to spending time in God's word, pair it with something that you already enjoy so your mind will connect the two. Sit down with your Bible and morning coffee. Meet with God while savoring a piece of chocolate. Take notes on what you're learning in the Bible with your favorite color ink pen. Sometimes I need help in the discipline area when it's something I desire, like scripture memory. Maybe it's the desire part I need help in, when it's something that I do daily but I don't want to do. So I can pray about it. Ask God to give me that discipline and desire I need so I can delight in my quiet time, my service, and my whole walk with God. What are you missing for your heart to delight in connecting with God and growing in Him? What can you change so you will delight in Him daily? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you can find in the description below. Thank you for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.